Comedians opening cards, no coffee, and I'm here with Al Lubell. Oh my God, I'm so freaking excited. I remember this man from back in the day and still going strong. I don't know if strong is the right word. <laughs> well, I, I, I think so. I'll go along with going. <laughs> Very good. Okay, so and there's- And still, and still. And still. Still going. Exactly. How about still going week? Still going each and every week. Yeah, like <laughs> right? Still going week each and every week. Oh, I'm still going strong each and every week. <laughs> still but going. I've always gone weak. I always feel I'm. I don't want to spend too much energy. Like, sure, that's or, reasonable. And I don't you know if I have the energy. Yeah. So I don't know if I've ever really gone strong. There have been little periods where I've gone strong, like where I was going to do the Tonight Show for the first time, right? Or Letterman for the first time. Right. I worked like a lunatic. Well, a long period to try to prepare because it was a deadline. Right. I have to admit that I went strong then. Right. Of course. But in general, unless I'm forced into something, right, I will not go strong. I will go weak. Right. 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 And I'm not proud of that. Sure. Sure. Because sure. I'm inherently lazy. Right. Well, so but that's good because then you can go weak or strong. Right. Right. Sort of like coffee. Exactly. Yeah. 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 I got a quick coffee. I'm, I'm cutting down on coffee. It's too, I drink too strong it's too coffee. Strong. Well, I'm naturally anxious. I drink strong coffee, yet it makes me weak. Yeah, so maybe if you drink weak coffee, it'll make you strong. It would, actually. Right, so there we go. Oh, I think that's what we do. <laughs> we solved it. <laughs> all right, so we've got all these silly cards. I don't know. Um, if you see anything that is of interest to you, go ahead and pick it up. And uh, I didn't even know. Yeah, I always heard these things, that some shows have cards. Right. I should have cards. I should have cards about me. Alabel cards. There, there. I think there were comedian cards made at some point. I don't know who made them or what thing. And then I know there's a there's a comedian right now. Um, I'm blanking on his name. He's from Ohio. He's uh whatever. He makes cards for guests to come on his podcast and has a comic artist uh, draw them and stuff like that. Um, and I like I was saying, I I actually have collectible cards that I that I do. Uh, I don't know. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. I just don't do it again. It has, um, it comes I would up love, both ends. love to. Uh, I'm curious if I have any cards in my bag that I could give you, but I don't. Yeah. Well, I, how would you expect this to happen? Well, I normally keep some of these cards with me. They're really cool cards. I've I, seen I would, them. Would have liked to put the people could. I yeah. Come in here. I've seen them on the on the show. Well, I'll plug them then. Yeah. Tyso cards. T y s o c a r d s dot com. If you're a card collector, but more important than that, if there's only one thing I could plug other than Wild Foods on PBS, just be kind to each other. You never know what someone's going through. Now, Dave. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yes. Okay. But I, uh, so I should pick uh, something that interests me. Something that yeah, exactly. That maybe it has some interest. I don't know. I just have like. Small interest in everything. Weak right. interest. I have weak, weak interest. interest. <laughs> in exactly. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Maybe we should just order some strong coffee. All right. How about Rocky Four? That interests me. Rocky Four is good. Yeah. Four. Like, I'm trying. To, it's probably not. Might, might this be the Dolphin? I think, well, maybe that is supposed oh, to be him. Right. I think on the cover. You yeah. know. So what's the idea? I open it so up. So you open it up, and then. Um, Four or five people have eaten. Four people have eaten the gum so far, and I don't know why. I don't, want to eat I don't think you what should. Kind of gum it is? It's the old gum from the cards. Oh, so it's from like the seventies. Yeah. So yeah, you. Just, these cards came from the seventies. Yeah, they're original from that movie. Yeah. Right. So like when Three's Companies came out, they made these cards and they made them. What like whatever. Duran Duran was popular. New Kids on the Block when they came out. How did you get all these? Cards? I'm a hoarder. I sell things on eBay. That's it's great. kind of my business. But it's, it's, it's kind of on the side of my business, but it fits right in. Okay. What is it? I sell old things. Old things? Yeah. How do you get the old things? Um, auctions was the... Auctions were the one that... If I buy things at auction, I can sleep at night. Right. Because... It's open to everyone can bid. You you never you don't go into a house and go, oh, I think it's worth. I'll give you this, and then like shit, I rip that person off. All right. Who wants to do that? But you can't sleep at night. All right. You buy it at auction. Right. Anyone, it's all open to everyone. You bid. Hey, if I got a great deal, I got a great deal. Anyone could have. But is that your original business, or like, what did you go right into after school? Oh, after college, I did like uh, I drove trucks around. I have a philosophy, religious studies degrees right. so 
you know, I didn't want to. Languages were hard. I didn't want to take German to you do the philosophy to go on and teach that stuff. So I just fucked around for a while, sell buying and selling stuff. I, I by driving a truck, I got to just buying and selling stuff. And then I just sold at flea markets, and then eBay came on, and then I started doing that. I went to law school. So did I. Yeah, and then kind of got this part with that. I went to Vermont Law School for environmental law. Wow. And then... Uh, did you graduate? Yes. Did you get practice law? No, I never practiced law. Did you think about practicing? Did you pass the bar? Did you take the bar? I never took the bar. Did you plan on taking the bar? I decided to not take the bar after my first child was born and I realized eBay was viable. I was selling... I was doing my expenses while going to law school the debt of the school but my expenses were all paid selling on the side while studying I was like well if I do this full time now that I have a kid if I go to law school I'll never see my child right. let's see if I could just do this and right. I now they're out of school so it worked out right that's great man. right yeah so now it's just I have I have more time I, now it's great because I have 45,000 things on eBay and I have another plethora of that stuff to do. Now I can kind of just let it cycle around and just churn and then pack. And you live in New Hampshire? I live in New Hampshire. Oh, I come doesn't Stephen King live up there? He lives up in Maine. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone after Stephen King crashed his car drunk right. driving. I didn't know that was his. I thought he was, wasn't he walking down the road and got hit by a car? Like well, this was probably in the 80s or 90s. It was oh. a long time ago. But he crashed his car drunk driving and it was total. So it went to whatever you know the insurance company pat whatever and then at auction someone was clever enough to figure out that was Stephen King's car and they bought it at auction for nothing and then they have Stephen King's crashed the freaking car wow. yeah. so. hey how you doing hey good good, good. 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 yeah it's obvious he used to have like uh I used to work with Jason Steinberg, I think, you know, did start bringing some after. Yeah. Sabia booked me at some club, and I forget which club it was, but he would book me a lot. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know the managers and stuff. I'm just getting to, like, like get introduced to the comics by doing this sort of thing. And then I'm trying to get the, um, like, more in my area, getting the, the more, like, the... the open mic shows and getting those dudes so I can put that on after right. you headliner guys yeah. and then promote everyone by putting up all the info you know because oh, it's amazing like the, the young folk who are hilarious they're just you know 25 views or something you know right. not that I I mean I'm trying to do something who knows what'll happen right. so yeah so we said so you open this up right now yeah. where, where is what happened Rocky, Rocky for okay. And I give my thoughts. Right. Yeah, I'm not going to eat the gum because I'm on. A, I'm trying to do a ketogenic <laughs> diet. You know, that's under 20 carbs a day. Oh, okay. Have you heard about that stuff? I don't know that specifically. There's a million different ones. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm trying to do that. So cut back. So I'm a big sugar addict. I, I was. And right. I, I, I'm trying to stay away from sugar. Right. Um, okay. So now I'm supposed to look at. Yeah, it is uh, Dolph Lundgren. Yeah, you were right. So I'm going to read. I'm look at it and give my thoughts. Do whatever you want to do. Okay. You know. Rocky for the Russian boxer Drago or Drago. How do you think he's pronounced? Drago. Drago. I think Drago. Drago. Yeah, that's right. Sounds good. Drago sounds too close to Dream. Yeah. Like, you know, Drago. Uh, and Drago sounds more like a menacing. A dragon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drago. Yeah, that's what you know. Uh, seeks about with America's champ, Rocky Balboa. In the meantime, he agrees to fight Apollo Creed, although he feels Creed is a has been. And uh, I agree with, I, I can understand that because I just looking at the way the movie was structured. He needs to first fight Creed to make it a long move, a feature length move. Right. Yeah. Uh, and so, and he, as I recall, he killed Apollo Creed actually. I don't really remember. I remember. Uh, you know? Yeah, I remember he killed him, I believe. It's okay. I believe he killed him. Uh, he beat him so badly, he Apollo Creed died, which added mo mo motivation for Rocky right. to want to destroy this uh, golf guy. Yeah, I think I probably saw the first movie, and then, I don't know, like, do I need more of the same? I don't right. know. 
Yeah, that's a smart attitude. You're a, you can tell you were a philosopher. <laughs> a philosophical attitude. Philosophical uh, attitude. There you go. Uh, yeah, I didn't think that way. I saw, I embarrassed said, saw all five of them. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good, though. But I think if it was now, I wouldn't see them. Like, I was in my attitude now. It's interesting watching movies now. Uh, I almost wish I had seen none of the movies I've seen. Uh, and seen them now because I'm so much smarter. I think I have so much wiser. On the other hand, you don't know if I hadn't seen those right. movies, I wouldn't be so much right. wiser. You wouldn't know. Or well, but there's all, you could also be other things besides the wiseness that's missing. From right. The, you, like yeah. Yes. Pluses and minuses. Uh, did you watch? Um, uh, yeah. Can I get like a? Do you have like a coffee or something? Yeah. Here, let me grab you. Uh, but like I just saw a movie called. Do you want anything? That, I'm fine. I saw a movie called. Uh, I'm sure you've seen this movie. Right here. Uh, Thank you. Just like a like a like a cappuccino. Cappuccino. Yeah, super. I kept putting off uh, watching this movie, not putting it off, but just being too lazy to watch it. But I kept hearing it was good. A Cohen's brother movie called uh, No Country for Old Men. Oh yeah yeah you yeah ever yeah. Seen yeah. That? Uh, maybe that was a book I think that famous author yeah. wrote that, or maybe has done a few movies. They Cohen yeah. brothers have done a few movies of that author perhaps. Yes. Cormac McCarthy, I think. Oh, and he just died. Yeah. Oh, I forgot he. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he did that that on the road, not on the road, but the, the, there's the road or something like that, which is super dark. Okay, but I don't know if it was Cormac. It might not have been. Cormac. Oh yeah, I don't I know. I think there's another name, maybe. But yeah, you, but it was from a novel. Yeah, it was from a. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, it was wow, what a great movie. And I'm wondering if I saw it 15 years ago, I might not have appreciated it as greatness because I'm a little more sophisticated as a movie watcher. Sure. But like you said, and you agree with me. If I had seen it years ago, I'd be more of a sophisticated person now, perhaps. But I wouldn't be watching a movie now, that movie. I'd have seen it. Who you knows? Yeah, it's hard to second guess all that stuff. Because yeah. what, what does it do you anyway? Well, I do. I spend a lot of time wasting my time. Yeah, I think we all do. That's all <laughs> life is, isn't it? You could argue that. Someone, I mean, I know, I think some comedian has probably made that joke about something something along those lines. Well, I, I have, I've heard it somewhere at least. I have a kind of joke like that. Uh, Should we try it? Go back yeah. in. Time is killing me. I'm, and I'm killing time. I'm talking about Excuse That's why I'm lazy. I'm killing time because time's killing me. Right, 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 right. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you were... Because I, I, I haven't seen you in a few months or, you know, maybe six months or so. Yeah, I think you did, but you do wordplay-ish yeah. smart stuff. Yeah. And then, of course, all with your name and stuff, which is hilarious. Yeah, yeah. The rhythmic yeah. yeah, yeah. So let me keep going. Sure. On. Okay. So, and, yeah, there's more to say. Oh, well, it's oh, of course. It's there's, a, it's a, it's a, it's a, there's probably pictures on the other side. Oh, good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, you're, you're picking the back side, you know, yeah, right, which, okay. whatever. The fight is set right between Drago and... Uh, no, no, no. We and, and I forget his name. What is Carl Weathers plays Apollo Creed. Right? And so, you know, my first instinct on this is to say we can see who's going to win. I mean, in a way, John is a lot bigger than Carl Weathers. I mean, than Apollo Creed. He uh, looks more imposing, but that doesn't mean he's going to necessarily win. I mean, but he does win. And I guess as a part of me, I've seen the movie, so but I guess maybe I have too much of a know-it-all attitude about it, but but it's pretty obvious that he's going, well, it's not, a, if you know he's going to end up fighting Rocky, you know he's going to end up winning here. The odds are Rocky ain't fighting the loser. <laughs> right, exactly. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, so that's true. I just am automatically looking at the negative. I just always pretty much look at the negative of everything. And, uh, I'd almost like to look at the negative of this photo because oh. it's more negative. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it, and it would oddly change the race. Right. That's it, would, it would switch them. Would it switch it? Well, because the negative, the black it's is white and the white is black. I didn't know it. it, it, it yeah. Was an opposite. Right, right, right. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Hence negative. I mean, I don't. Right. Is that maybe? I, I, mean, I, I think that's I why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Wow. So, uh, okay, so I think I've analyzed that one. <laughs> You're doing amazing. Okay. <laughs> Rocky IV, I'll start with the picture. Yeah, the pictures are good, yeah. yeah. Uh, Rocky IV, Russia's Mightiest Man. I have questions with that, that's hyperbole. <laughs> right? We don't know how many, first he's a fictional character. And second of all, even if we just go by him as a, he looks very strong, but there's, for a second of all, he's not even Russian in real life. Okay, we gotta go by the fiction. So he's playing, and as a fictional thing, they could say what the hell they want. It's fiction. So I guess it's true within the concept of this fictional story. 
But on the other hand, you could argue that maybe it isn't true. That's, that fictional story could have a lie in it as part of the fiction. So maybe he isn't Russia's mightiest man. In fact, I would argue, <laughs> I think there's a good chance he isn't. He isn't he is not Russia's mightiest man. Because there's so many man. men in Russia. There's 300 million men in Russia. Right. What are they, and what do we mean by mighty? Well, you know, the only thing I this makes me remember is I think it's probably my... One of the early, I think it was the first season of SNL, maybe one of my funniest skits. There was a song, I think it was um, Russia's Mightiest. Uh, I'm ch- ah. the, What was it, Mighty Mouse? You know, what's oh, yeah, Andy Mighty, Yeah, just Mighty Mouse, but you could have done Russia's Mightiest Man. But right. I messed it up. I messed it up. I was trying to think of something while you're talking, which I just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well. But, you know, it just kind of, I don't like her hyperbole, you know. Sure. I, it, I don't know, something about it that bothers me. So I don't like the Russia's Mightiest Man. I'm also jealous of his shoulders because I have like, <laughs> I have a thing called hip dysplasia. I don't know if you've heard of that. Dogs are known for it, they get the publicity. Sure, Humans sure. Humans don't get the publicity. But my hips are badly formed since birth. And when you have hip dysplasia, you also typically have shoulder, the same dysplasia in your shoulder. Oh. So if you look, I can just go that high. Oh, wow. That's it. And so look at this guy. He's normal. Right. Everyone else, if I start up back here, ah. this is not, although this is kind of scary. I kind of have a scary look. <laughs> like, I look insane. Like, he just looks threatening, but I look insane. Uh, yeah. But I'm just jealous of me, Liv, that I see the... Uh, oh, thank you so much. I see his ability to stretch like that. I'm, I'm jealous. And, uh... Well, he worked out a lot. He yeah. might not, he might, well, you kept saying how weak you were. I think he keeps saying how strong he is. Right. I, I, th- I think I think that's just the difference. Right. It's just the attitude. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And so I'm more threatened by this guy. I'm just moving these so I don't spill my... Yeah. I'm threatened uh, in the sense that normally a person's threatened by this guy is Russia's mightiest man. Right. But also, I claim to be very weak and he's very strong, so I'm threatened by this guy. Yeah. But you don't claim to be America's weakest man. No. You haven't made that claim. No, I haven't no. made that claim. Uh, and I feel extra weak about that. <laughs> you feel weak that you didn't make the claim yeah. about being the weakest. Yeah. Yes. You can only feel that way. Right. <laughs> that's, that's all you can do. Not necessarily. Well, in, of in course that sense, not. I have a little strength. I like to think that. <laughs> you have options. Flexibility. You guys have a little free will. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and then we're now we're rocking the Pope? for Pauly. My memories of Pauly, I love that character, but he wasn't that friendly to me. You know, he, uh, I did a show at Catch Rising Star like 30 years ago. Right. And he was sitting in the back. I knew he was sitting in the back. And I walked back up. I walked up to him after the show was over. And I can't remember the actual... I just got the sense he didn't think I was very funny. Huh. Yeah, I don't know if I had the balls to say, did you think I was funny? Right. I might have said that, actually. Right, right, right. But if I did, he said no. He said no. <laughs> he had the balls to say no. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so uh, it bothered me. I would have liked him to find me funny. But when I think about it, I'm not so surprised that he didn't find me funny. Because, you know, my sense of humor, like you said, wordplay, it's kind of cerebral. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, sure. Right. And he's a guy, you know, he's from the street. You know, like I'm sure he's playing that guy in Rocky. But I bet he also, it's so natural for him. He's also kind of like a street kind of guy you know? right, maybe right, they right. wouldn't like my sense of humor sure, sure, sure. another guy that didn't like my sense of humor was a guy the LA Cabaret is a comedy club in the valley in Los Angeles and I went up there it could be a tough room this was 30 years ago too who was sitting in the back when I got out Joe Don Baker remember him from that those movies in the 70s uh, Walking Tall was it called okay that kind of like a, yeah 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 yeah. it was like kind of like a B movie okay yeah 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 like about a hero uh, Joe Don Baker but I, I sat with him back there and said, hey, would you like the show? He goes, no. No. That bothered me. But I'm not surprised. Again, I wasn't surprised that a Joe Don Baker wouldn't have liked Sure, 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 sure. He's yeah. one of these, like, hero kind of tough guys. Right, right, right. And right, I'm right. up there being vulnerable. Right, right, right. Talking right. about my insecurities. Right, right, right. right. That doesn't go over well. Right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. Okay, so then we have, let me see what the, so yeah, that's Pauly. You know, Paulie's face right there looks like he has just spoken with me. <laughs> he looks unhappy. Like, why did I ever talk to this guy? <laughs> and, uh, we're 
Harry is Paulie, Rocky's sometimes grouchy and short-tempered brother-in-law in all the Rocky movies. And yeah, that's how he kind of was with me, grouchy and I sense short-tempered. All right, right. So, so he wasn't even acting. No, and that's kind of cool to run into an actual character. Right. From Rocky. Character non-actor. Yeah, what scares me is yeah, to run into Stallone and have him punch me as Rocky. That, yeah, that, <laughs> so it would. But he wouldn't do that because he was Rocky who had, you know, a good sense of character. Well, Stallone's supposed to be, like, certainly smarter than he, but oh, yeah. he wrote and just all, the fact he wrote that all he his wrote stuff. Yeah, exactly. Things. My God, he's a very smart guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And probably a nicer guy. I mean, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I would think so. You'd hope so by now.